You can't stop the beat or these stars. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Hairspray cast, Where Are They Now? For this list, we'll be looking at the most prominent actors in the movie musical Hairspray and checking in on what they've been up to since the film's release in July 2007. Number 10, James Marsden. What gets a gal asked out to lunch? Is it brains? Is it dough? No, it's Hairspray! James Marsden may have gotten older since 2007, but he certainly hasn't shown it. Just a year after Hairspray, his fans were blessed with possibly his funniest performance to date as the overly macho Rex in Sex Drive. He later played perhaps the exact opposite character of John F. Kennedy in Lee Daniels' The Butler. His high-profile roles haven't been limited to film, however, as he played the Western hero archetype on the first two seasons of HBO's Westworld. Granted, a lot of people remember him as Cyclops, a part he briefly reprised in X-Men Days of Future Past. But he's since returned to blockbuster movies with Sonic the Hedgehog in 2020, which, based on its revenue, is primed for a sequel. You're not, you're not here to abduct me, are you? You abducted me! Okay, that's a fair point. Number 9, Elijah Kelly. Yeah, I can see why people disagree. Time I tell them what I know is true. The theme of racial integration at the core of Hairspray, Elijah Kelly's character of Seaweed exemplifies this through his relationship with Penny. Keeley would continue to star in films with similar themes like Red Tails and The Butler. There's that movie again. That's about it on the movie side of things, but on the small screen, Keeley had a memorable role as the Scarecrow in The Wiz Live. I, the all-powerful Wiz, have decided to grant your wishes, but... <laughs> hey! I said but. Did you not hear me say but? There's a but coming. There's always a but. Something that will be a bit of a trend on this list. He also partnered with BET to play singer Ricky Bell in the miniseries The New Edition Story and The Bobby Brown Story, and had a recurring role on the second and third seasons of Fox's Star. So you can go and run and tell that. You know we fired you, right? She's no one to play with. Keep my business out your mouth. Can you do that for me? What y'all beefing about now? Number 8, Britney Snow. Back in the mid-2000s, Britney Snow was the new girl in town, but today she's anything but. She followed up Hairspray by playing the final girl in the Prom Night remake, but the less said about that one, the better. She later returned to movie musical prominence in 2012 with Pitch Perfect, a movie so popular it spawned two sequels. And if you she had the lead role in Fox's Almost Family, though it was canceled after one season. Dad, you're my only connection to her. You have to tell me this. Ever the philanthropist, Snow co-created the Love is Louder movement for the Jet Foundation, and even found love herself when she tied the knot in March of 2020. Number 7, Christopher Walken. You'll never be old hat. That's that. You're timeless to me. When Hairspray was released, many didn't know Christopher Walken for his musical efforts, and were absolutely charmed by the charisma he displayed. Turns out he was far from done singing, however, as he'd go on to play a distinctive Captain Hook in Peter Pan Live, even if he did forget his line. He'd also have a musical number in the live-action The Jungle Book as King Louie, one of the few songs kept from the animated version. So, ooh, I wanna be like you, ooh, ooh, I wanna use that flame just the same as you can do. The 2010s also saw him earn some acclaim working with director and playwright Martin McDonough twice earning a Tony nomination for the Broadway play A Behanding in Spokane, and playing the hilariously deadpan Hans in Seven Psychopaths. Number 6, Michelle Pfeiffer. I never drank one chocolate malt, no dessert for Miss Baltimore Crabs. Just weeks after Hairspray's release, Michelle Pfeiffer again stole the show playing the villain in the cult classic Stardust. 2017 would be the year that saw her return to critical acclaim, not only for films like Mother and Murder on the Orient Express, but for the HBO film The Wizard of Lies, for which she was nominated for an Emmy and a Golden Globe. She joined the Marvel Cinematic Universe in 2018 as the original Wasp, and in 2019 she returned to the villain archetype in Maleficent Mistress of Evil. One can never be too careful. 2019 also saw her launch her own line of fragrances called Henry Rose, in addition to appearing in the highest grossing film of all time. Sheesh, now we know why she really won Miss Baltimore Crabs. Number 5, Queen Latifah. I am not afraid to go my way around. Pound by, pound by, pound. 
since she's a singer and actress, casting Queen Latifah as Motormouth Maybell just made sense. While the multi-talented artist did lend her vocal chops to the big screen again in 2012 with Joyful Noise, Hairspray is technically the last traditional movie musical she starred in. That's to say nothing of television musicals, however, as she too starred in The Wiz Live as the titular character and slid seamlessly into the role of Ursula in The Little Mermaid Live. For unfortunate souls in pain in me. TV was kind to her in 2015 as well, which saw her receive Golden Globe and Emmy nominations playing blues singer Bessie Smith in HBO's biographical picture Bessie. Also, we'll have to start referring to her as Dr. Latifah now, since she earned her honorary doctorate in 2018. Number 4. Amanda Bynes Amanda Bynes has been in the headlines numerous times since her turn as Penny Pingleton, but not exactly for the right reasons. Months before her final and critically lauded movie role in 2010's Easy A, Bynes announced an indefinite hiatus from acting. Jesus tells us to love everyone. I mean, even the whores and the homosexuals, but it's just so hard. At the time, we had to imagine what may have led to her disillusionment with the craft, but subsequent personal problems painted a clearer picture. She was charged with driving under the influence and marijuana possession in 2012 and 2013, respectively. In 2018, Bynes proclaimed she'd been sober for four years, so we're hoping her troubles have turned around. Number 3. Zac Efron And I'm Link. One could argue we wouldn't have the Link Larkin we know without Troy Bolton. Fortunately for fans, they wouldn't have to wait long for Efron to reprise the latter when High School Musical 2 debuted in August 2007, followed by the theatrical High School Musical 3 in 2008. From there, he starred in a variety of projects, from raunchy comedies like The Neighbors movies. Are you talking to me? Yes. yes. Are you talking to me? Yes! Yes! To playing serial killer Ted Bundy in Netflix's extremely wicked, shockingly evil, and vile. But it would seem he never forgot his musical background, as he starred in the smash sensation The Greatest Showman. Like his Hairspray co-star, Efron sought treatment for substance abuse in 2013 and has been sober since, churning out his finest work in the process. Number 2. John Travolta Hey Tracy, hey baby, look at me. I'm the cutest chicky that you ever did see. Hey Tracy, hey baby, look at us. Where is there a team that's happened? Fabulous! John Travolta has led a turbulent career, with his cross-dressing turn as Edna Turnblad being a definite up. While this led to him voicing the title character in Disney's criminally underrated Bolt in 2008, his movie roles have either been in forgettable action thrillers like The Taking of Pelham 123, or they've been gaudy, which was critically reviled. However, the 2010s saw him receive the good kind of press too, as he received Golden Globe and Emmy nominations for playing lawyer Robert Shapiro on the first season of American Crime Story, subtitled The People vs. O.J. Simpson. So let's hit the ground running. Okay, first question. Who thinks OJ did it? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Nikki Blonsky. Hello, my name is Seaweed. Uh oh, oh. Jay. What's yours, baby? I'm Trey. T. Turn. Blad. Gotta get away, Being cast as Tracy Turnblad was a dream come true for then unknown Nikki Blonsky, and we still can't see anyone else in the role. Following her breakout, Blonsky made an appearance on Ugly Betty and had the lead role on the ABC drama Huge, which sadly was cancelled after one season. This is the start of a very important journey, and we ask that you begin by taking an honest look at yourself. That sounds so great, but I lost my bathing suit. In 2011, Blonsky earned a cosmetology license, with reports of her holding down a part-time job at a salon in her hometown of Great Neck, New York between acting roles. Since then, she appeared in two episodes of NBC's musical drama Smash and went back to high school for a part in the ABC Family Film Geography Club. Whatever Blonsky does in the future, we can still hear the bells. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.